Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. In the previous episode we snagged Shadow Lugia, but I made intentional references to Shadow Pokemon being the last one. Yeah, we've captured a lot of Shadow Pokemon in this game, but there's still one missing unfortunately. Yeah, we're gonna be taking care of that in the post game of Pokemon XD, which is very, very, very much smaller than its prequel. Anyways, the first thing that happens is, All right, I'll see you, Megan. A gate village. Dear Johnny, I've heard your return from Senator Kyle. I sent this message as an invitation to the All right, I'll see him. I'll be arriving shortly to ask you in per. That's all he says. So Egon, apparently, not Egon, <laughs> wants us to do a Coliseum match. That's kind of cool, actually. And he's here to meet with us in person. But before we do that, Shadow Lugia is still not purified. Why is that? Well, you need nine complete sets to do so. And there's a Pokemon ready to open its heart. Okay. Now, unfortunately, uh, my sets are still needing to be purified. So I need to purify some more Pokemon before we get to Shadow Lugia. So let me do that very quickly. And okay, now that has been taken care of, and we can actually begin purification of Shadow Lugia, let's actually look at my sets, which is primarily what you need to get Shadow Lugia purified. Essentially, you need nine full max tempoed sets. How do you do this? Well, there's a lot of ways. This is the Pokemon that I used. I'm going to be briefly showing them on screen just in case you want to copy them. But essentially, you have to have Pokemon going in clockwise motion that are all super effective against each other. Yeah. They have to be all purified. The easiest way to do this technically is to get 36 Hoppips. But chances are that's a little more time consuming because, <laughs> well, Hoppup is weak to itself. But. Chances are you've captured a whole lot of Shadow Pokemon, you can now purify them, yeah. So once you have your nine tempos, all you gotta do is take Shadow Lugia, and wow, look at all these Pokemon. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And, well, just pick them up and drop them into one of the sets. And you'll say something different about Lugia. Maybe, ooh, maybe. Pokemon is ready to open its heart, and once you have all nine sets ready to go, Shadow Lugia can be purified. It turns out Cypher was full of crap. They actually didn't know anything. And yeah, Lugia, you get a normal one now. Pretty cool, actually, considering back in the day, this was the only way to actually get Lugia onto your Ruby and Sapphire, Fire Red or Leaf Green or Emerald. And it's going to regain all of its moves, which, by the way, are actually pretty cool. Feather Dance and all that stuff, and you usually can't learn. I think it has two exclusive moves. I'm not sure on that. I think, no, it's only one. But yeah, so this is actually really cool. It's kind of a secret way to just encourage you to snag more Pokemon. A lot of people think that you have to have every single Pokemon purified. That is not true. There is no reward for purifying all the Pokemon. And hi, Johnny, I've heard that you succeeded in purifying that Shadow Lugia. Those Cypher Cretans said that it couldn't be purified. But you've proven them wrong. Heck yeah, I did. Johnny, it's because you shrinked and you gave it your all. So sincerely, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. And yes, we could purify the rest of the Pokemon, but there's honestly no reward, like I said. There's no Ho-Oh thing in the post-game to do, which is kind of a bummer, I feel like, but that is not all the post-game has to offer. There's, in fact, uh, Egan wanted to meet us in person. What's up? So essentially, uh, I need to switch my party around a little bit. We want Benny for this and Sabaku, because they're going to have to fight, like... Six Pokemon, all the same type, and it's going to be not very fun at all. And now, Johnny, have you read about my email? Yes, we did, actually. I panicked and sent the email before I finished it, but I'm glad to hear that you received it. Yeah, I was inspired by your battle exploits, Johnny. You see, I made me want to battle with you. That said, Johnny, there are countless trainers that would be honored to battle with Cypher's nemesis. Cool! I therefore decided to take charge and organize a Colosseum event in Perez. But before we talk, we must battle you and I, Ungar. Yes, you have to fight the Myth Trainer Egon again! Guess what Pokemon he has? Pichu's! Yeah, you can probably see where this pattern is going. He has six Pokemon. He's been only using Pikachu's for two games now. It's not the most exciting battle, but hey. The developers decided to put it in, so I'd feel kind of bad if we didn't show it off. So we're going to do the whole Protect Earthquake combo one last time this final. Pokemon XD episode. 
And yeah, basically Sabaku can just wipe the floors with them. There's really, really honestly nothing that you can do. They're just these really weak Pokemon and well, since Sabaku is a jolly nature, you really can't stop her. It's kind of powerful like that. So right now I'd like to actually talk about a couple things and why I believe Pokemon XD does not have an adequate post game. Because the main game was so much stronger than Colosseum. This is one thing I think that XD did better than Colosseum. XD is substantially longer than Colosseum, relinquishing that post game, which honestly, I could have done without, and uh, goodbye, Benny. I guess you're <laughs> getting knocked out here. That's unfortunate, but Sabaku cannot be stopped! Her rampage is never ending. Oh, God. Not now all these Pikachus. So, you can think of it as a retraction. I do think it's kind of a bummer they didn't give you at least one legendary to go after. I mean, come on. They should have at least given a Celebi for purifying all the Pokemon. C come on. They could have at least done that. But I understand the Pokemon Company had future events planned that they wanted to do, and you know what? Let's just send Niflheim out. Because this battle's pretty much over, because <laughs> Egon is not the smartest guy ever. Now he's tossing out running shoes. So yes, and I could have sworn that you had to purify all Pokemon to get Lugia. I, I'm, I do not think I said that in the Let's Play at any point, but I do apologize if I did. You don't have to do that. So we won't be doing that. I apologize if you guys wanted to see, you know, just a full box of unpurified Pokemon, but you can probably turn on your Pokemon game and see that for yourself. The only real reason to purify Pokemon is to have more sets going to purify Pokemon more. Which I could see, you know, hey, maybe you want to put all these Pokemon onto your Game Boy cartridges, but at the same time, these Pokemon are really easy to get for the most part. Yeah, no one knew it, but bravo. I'll beat bravo. Yeah, you kind of got owned there, Egan. Sorry about that, buddy, but unfortunately, you're not really that good. It's no wonder that Sapphire has their eyes on you. I must say, I enjoyed myself tremendously. I'm sure that the trainers of Gavin and Orwell Coliseum will be delighted to face you. Please, would very much like to you to come. And yes, now he's going to show us where the Coliseum is. Right over there, near Dr. Kamiko's lab. And the toughest trainers in the land of Gavin with your final goal. Old man talk. So yes, we can do that challenge. What makes Ore Coliseum so much different than every other Coliseum? Well, the trainers actually have good Pokemon. Ore Coliseum is basically the end game goal in the game. If you have a competitive ge third generation team, you can come here and battle. The Coliseum itself is nothing spectacular. It was in Coliseum and they basically reused it. And if you want to know what it looks like, it was basically the first battle in the game. That's all it looks like. You can fight all these Cypher admins over again in this area. It's actually kind of cool in that respect. But we probably will not be covering that because our team isn't really that amazing. <laughs> I mean, I like them and all, but they're not really Wi-Fi battle material, if you get what I'm saying. You know, you know. So, if we can't do that, and wow, does Ori Coliseum look really cool on the uh, over screen. And it's kind of like a hand. That's kind of neat. Then what is there left to do in Ore? You may be asking yourself. Well, we can rematch Greevil with different Pokemon, but that's relatively not is interesting, at least in this guy's opinion. So, how do we get that last shadow Pokemon? That is technically the last thing we've yet to do in this game. Well, go to Gadion Port once you've snagged every single Pokemon, and the Mirror B alert will go off. Oh gosh. That's right, the final Pokemon to capture in this game, not counting Pokespots, is under Mirror B's control. Now be warned, this is going to be a very difficult battle. Do not think this is a cakewalk. Mirror B's Pokemon are going to be around level 59 for the most part. Yeah, that's almost 10 levels higher than us. So pretty much go into this thinking you're going to lose. No, no, that's actually terrible advice, but give it your all and make sure you're at least grinded up a little bit. Because Mirror B is at the very top of this light tower in Gatian Port. And at the very top, we have probably one of the best secret bosses in video game history. I'm not joking. When I saw this, I was extremely excited <laughs> and happy. And what? You brat, you showed up here? We always mess with our plans to get all the Pokemon in the world. No thanks to you, we're lost more Pokemon than we've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you gotta say folly. What, what? Not you again? Our boss is busy dancing. You can't see, you can't, you... Uh. Oh, boss, 
The way you gyrate is the greatest. Shake, 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 shake it! Uh-huh. Alrighty then, so it's pretty safe to assume. Here he has his Ludicolo army back. And he's just sitting up there. Yeah, essentially, you're gonna have to fight a pretty tough fight to get the final Shadow Pokemon, and what better guy to have it than Mirror B and I, I, I want you, want you! Okay. Huh? Stop the music! <sighs> Let me wind down the music and take a look. Oh, you are. You are that super annoying brat. It's all your fault that my Shadow Pokemon are the last of the kind. But you did worse. You messed up the dance for celebrating the future of Team Mirror today. Of all days, you're not going to get away. No, you never, never, never get away. Let the music play. And for the last time, hopefully not ever, we're going to fight Mirror B, the Wanderer, and his Ludicolo army. You guys better be ready, because this fight is not easy at all. Ugh, but it does have some pretty awesome music, so I guess we'll deal with it. We're going to start out here with Sabaku and Benny. Just to get some residual damage off, uh, let's see, I'm gonna... I guess I'll Dragon Breath a Ludicolo. And then Thunder Wave another one. The main way... Ah, oh, gosh dang it. <laughs> I hate Ludicolo, I fake out! Okay, faked out the less important target, that's good. The main way I get around the level difference in this battle is through status elements. Call me cheap, I know I did that in the final battle versus Grievel, but come on. Level 57, I thought they were 59. Huh, I guess not. It's kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous, and these guys have Swift Swim. They have all this guard. It's not a fun time, guys. It's not fun at all. <laughs> but we're going to try our best and see if we can get well, victory. So let's see. We're going to try and focus down one at a time. I feel like that is the best strategy coming in there. Hydro Pump. Oh, gosh. Whoever's going to hit that is probably knocked out. Goodbye, Sa Oh, wow. Actually lived. Good job, Sabaku. What a boss. All right. So Thunder cannot miss. But Sabaku's is going to take a lot of damage here. Yeah, I don't even think that'll knock out the Ludicolo, so... Things are already starting off not so great, actually. <laughs> I sure hope I can win this, goodness. I actually have not attempted this battle yet. I just imagined it wouldn't be that hard, but honestly, I don't know if I can win here. And hey, we trace Swift Swim, not a bad ability to get. But because the Rain Dance is in effect, Thunder will never miss. Yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. The other Ludicolo is paralyzed, so it can't take, a, like, advantage of the Swift Swim. And I know I've been using C2 a lot, but can you blame me? Psychic's my favorite type, and it's kind of being helpful a little bit. And, oh, no. Okay, good. Dodged. Nice, nice, nice. And the rain continues to fall. Ooh. All right, so let's see. I'm just going to try and focus just one Ludicolo down at a time. I feel like that's the best strategy. We could just cheese out and use hypnosis and paraflinch and all that. Not fun. Not fun. I find this to be a lot more engaging. We're just going to play it fair. And okay, Waterfall. I can deal with Waterfall. It's not nearly as strong as Hydro Pump. It has 100% accuracy, but hey, it doesn't do nearly as much as Surf, so I'll take it. Thunder still is not going to miss, and Benny is just going to wipe the floor with these things, apparently. Goodness. Two of them already knocked out. Gosh, Benny. <laughs> kind of scaring me there, dude. It's destroying everybody. And honest, actually, there's no risk in losing this battle, honestly. Unless Hydro Pump. Okay, we're getting really lucky with Hydro Pump misses. That is a. I'll take it. I mean, I don't care. We still have the wall, though. And all Ludicolos, even if they do have fighting attacks, are not going to be able to touch the wall. Just too good. The wall's just too tanky, man. As long as you're especially attacking her. Anyways, going to get a critical hit on the Ludicolo, and it's going to go for Ice Punch, of all things. Um, alright. Cool, cool. That that uh sets me back a little bit. But Thunder is gonna yet again seal your fate. Mirror B's battle tactics have still not changed all that much. We'll use the double-edged sword. That is Rain Dance. A lot. Benny gets a level up. Not bad. Wow, four in special defense. That'll come in handy. Never. But... The Pokemon have to spread the abilities out. And wow, this isn't even the Mirror B I remember, man. He has count them. Five Ludicolos, that is one too many. Hydro Pump's gonna connect, and we're almost gonna lose Benny, but he's hanging in there, just like the trooper that he is. And yeah, this battle's basically over. I don't really know, man. This is an interesting battle, because you know, it's like it's like a secret boss. It's kind of cool. It's a decent reward for catching all the Shadow Pokemon, but I don't know, man. Something's just weird about it. I guess. Goodbye, C2. You did a good job. Yet again, but unfortunately, he went down. 
All right, let's see here. The wall. I think it's time to send the wall out, man. These guys have been having it too easy. Hey, taste of the walls. Eggy goodness. <laughs> that could have been said a little bit different. And yes, Thunder will hopefully knock out this other Lucolo. So now, Mirabee is down to his last Pokemon. What is his last Pokemon? It is, well, the Pokemon that he stole from the Key Cipher Lair, Dragonite. A Shadow Dragonite, technically the highest level Shadow Pokemon in the game. Is it the most deadly? Probably not. It doesn't know any exclusive moves. So yeah. Oh no, the rain actually went away. That is a bummer. Oh, that is a bummer. All right. So let's see. We're gonna we're gonna put Sing on the Dragonite. I'm just gonna use Benny's turn to bring back Gardevoir in case something bad happens. We got two Max Revives left. Might as well use them because our adventures in Aura are almost finished. No boy, Shadow Rush. This is gonna hurt somebody a whole heck of a lot. Ooh, goodbye, Benny. Did a good job, man. Is it's time for the dynamic duo of the wall in C2 to clean house and basically snag this final Shadow Pokemon. Let's go. So, C2, um, let's see, do I focus down the Ludicolo or what? I really don't know. Depending, oh gosh, yeah, Sing Mist. That is a bad, <laughs> that is not a good combination. All right, let's, uh, let's just try Seismic Toss and Hypnosis on it. May yes, okay, we can outspeed, that's really good. Hypnosis will connect, so now the Dragonite's probably not going to be around for much longer, depending on how long it stays asleep, so yeah. Dragonite's still fast asleep. And that is super duper with me. The wall probably will not be able to wall off Dragonite so well, because it does have that Shadow Rush, but Ludicolo keeps getting paralyzed. So now the question is, what do we do here? <laughs> I guess I should start focusing down the Ludicolo, but I don't know, I guess we'll just let the wall continue to Seismic Toss and get that Dragonite in a range to where we can capture it. Now, I actually do not know, ooh, that could be bad. Shadow Rush is going to hit someone for a lot of damage, Ew. Live, 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 okay. C2 actually taking that rather well. That's some good news, at least. Another Seismic Toss. We can probably get it in snag range within one more Seismic Toss. I'm not going to try a Psychic again. I feel like that's a super bad idea. So let's think. We're going to get that Swift Swim because it's synchronized. So that's pretty good, actually. So let's see. Let's just go for a, um... Huh. I guess we'll just Seismic Toss the Ludicolo and then try and put Dragonite back to sleep. Could I catch the Dragonite at that percentage? Maybe. I mean, I've ever actually tried, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, Dragonite's so adorable when it's put it sleep. She's like, hmm. <laughs> Even if it is a disgusting evil Shadow Pokemon. Anyway. We're going to throw a Ultra Ball at it in the coming turns. I mean, we still have Timer Balls. There's basically no way this one Dragonite can be our party. Don't imagine it has multiple... Like attacking moves. Seems just one of you shadow rush all the gash dang time. That's fine, that's fine. Well, it's gonna get some leftover HP. Man, the Hydro Pump did nothing. And it was even in the rain. And that Pokemon's even stronger than us, man. Can we catch this Pokemon in nine Ultra Balls? This kid thinks so. We're gonna just toss it out. And hey, if we guess this guy, that's the last shadow Pokemon in the game. We will have technically 100% to Pokemon XD. I don't really see a reason to purify all the Shadow Pokemon. I don't really want to put them on any cartridge. And we get this snag? Yes, we have caught every Shadow Pokemon in the game. Not bad. Not bad, Michael. <laughs> My protagonist. Oh. And with this last Psychic, Mirror B will be defeated. The last time. Gonna miss you, man. Gonna miss you, old buddy. You're awesome, Mirror B. <laughs> All good things must come to an end. Battling with you. I can't find the right groove at all. No, you sure can't. But I sure can, apparently. Using my walls. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, how dare you! I say, how dare you! That Shadow Dragon Eye will stop his very last Shadow Pokemon. There's only one thing to do now. Um. <laughs> Let go! Escape! Uh, okay. Has Mirror B finally given up on crime? Who knows, and kind of left his minions behind. Oh boy. <laughs> Where's the fifth Ludicolo? I don't know, man. He's just MIA, and yes, they all exit. And that is technically the end of Pokemon XD. Oh, <gasps> what is this? Am I perfectly Kofit Afro do? I found this little device. Nothing appears on the Mirror D radar anymore. It appears to have broken. Yep, so that means we can't. Go find Mirror B anymore. 
And guys, that's going to pretty much do it for Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. It's been one heck of a ride, but unfortunately, everything must come to an end. And I personally want to thank you all so much for watching this Let's Play and supporting me. And well, I guess I'll see you guys in my next Pokemon adventure. Bye.